Hi and welcome to this fourth video in our Touch Performance series, where we examine radiated noise performance. Radiated noise performance standards are governed by IEC EN 61000-4-3. We live in a world of radiated noise from sources such as mobile phone signals and CFL light bulbs. Let's see how the WFI 32's performance compares to our competitor's touch solution. For this test, we are again using the PIC32 WFI32E Curiosity Board with the QT7X Pro for touch. On the right side, we see the competitive solution. We use a CFL light bulb as our source for radiated noise and observe the LEDs for any reactions. A passing test means basically there is no reaction, no false touch, and sustained sensitivity. We will just bring this close to the boards, and what you want to see is nothing, no false touch. Turning on the light bulb, Start with the Rio 2 board. Might be hard for you to see, but it's no false trigger board, fully functional. Do the same on competitor E. Coming close to the board, you see the slider gets, and here we have the false touches on the buttons. So this is radiated noise. You see, if I turn this off, no further false touch. I turn this on and many things happen. So summing up, the WFI32 provides robust performance in radiated noise per IEC EN 61000-4-3. The WFI32's touch sensing does not malfunction like the competitive solution, and Microchip's proprietary circuit and touch library provide superior results. Please visit microchip.com WFI32 for more information.